Welcome to part 2 of Steam Locomotive Profiling Episode 1, my final video. I'm going to continue where I left off, so let's get right into it. Then the year 2022 happened, and uh, that was kind of the year that would change my entire Steam Heritage fleet forever. <sighs> This act, that was the year the big accident happened. It was the accident that changed everything. Like, my T1 number 2124, T1 number 2100, and my Southern Pacific Cap Ford number 4294 were unfortunately, unfortunately got in there a big rack, rack. In which changed everything. The T1 number 2124 suffered the least amount of damage. 2124 had its boiler crushed, but I, would, but I was able to bring it back nonetheless. But the same couldn't be said for Cat 4 number, number 4294. It was crushed beyond belief. And in death thing was destroyed and like like this thing that thing had suffered the most damage unfortunately that locomotive was scrapped due to the damage and this and this and this locomotive and this would ultimately lead to the fate well, and would ultimately Will ultimately be one of the factors that would lead to Retinazer Steam program's ending. Ding. Ding. However, the program held on well. It's like the S1 duplex and Big Boy number 4014 team both were somehow able to stay in service. <sighs> However, Rising insurance costs for the engine were starting to rise. And eventually, Retinizer's program ended up being being completely ended up shutting down due to so much financial costs. And right and, and if you wanted to donate money to my program, I mean you could buy the merch, but but if you actually wanted to help with my program, too in bad. This is a very harsh way of me of saying that that you were unable to donate to my program. I mean, yeah, sure you could buy the merch, but if you wanted to help, fat chance. And unfortunately, that would cost me dearly. As eventually, uh, at the end of 2020, at at the end of July 2023, the inevitable happened. All my engines made a couple of final runs, and before all were placed back into retirement. <laughs> However, the S1 and the big boy were extremely lucky, as these were the final two steam locomotives that still operate in my program today. Both fun use on passenger trains. The S1, the S1 was. Get was given a cosmetic restoration before it was returned to survey, returned to steam. Steam actually. 4014 ended up remaining in service, so yeah, there's that going. When yeah, Retinazer Nazer's program was kind of yeah, the S1 was also kind of the reason because, like, like after it was returned to steam. It was the most expensive engine to operate, so I could kind of say my program would have been a slightly better place if the S1 duplex was immediately broken up for scrap upon its retirement. And the space it would have left behind could have been filled up for another locomotive that did deserve to be saved. Union Pacific number 9000. Yeah, yeah, I know this engine's already brought back, brought back to life. Thank you for the love of cameo. But this engine was one of one of my engines that was once not preserved. It was originally going to be preserved by, but that space was already taken up by by two larger engines. Yep, my Cino Alginis. 
worry with the me. We're, we're already taking up the room. So yeah. 9,000 ended up being broken up for scrap. And to all those 6,100 fans that are crying about me saying that the S1, that the world would have been a better place if the S, my S1 was scrapped, there is three other flipping but duplexes led to preservation on display at various places and museums. Those being Q1 number 6130. I, I meant to say Q2, so no confusion with that Q1. It was, it was once a Q1, but then he rebuilt it to a Q2 because the Q1 sucked. Q1 number 5550. No confusion with that one in real life. And 13. T, wait. And 1361, which was a source of spare parts for the S1. It was eventually moved to another part of my my area, and it's just running there. So what are you waiting for? Don't just stand there, then hoping being the S1, hope, hoping that them other just would, would, that the S1 should get a better life. It shouldn't happen. Start caring about those five, those three other duplexes already. Retinizer actually have, actually had so many duplexes made. Like, I already know the S1, but Retinizer had, had many T1s, Q2s, Twos, J K Force, and uh, J Ones built, and many other duplexes made. So yeah, that engine was pretty. So they were pretty popular in my program. Unfortunately, the J One and many others were not secured for preservation. Following the completion of my Lego Diesel fleet, which was eventually scrapped years, which was eventually scrapped them um, like two months ago, were eventually scrapped. Little bit of additional information on 6100. Yeah, I. So, yeah. The S1 also kind of made a little bit of cameos. Also, had a little bit of cameos on some of my other videos. If you could spot it, good job. So, yeah. I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna put the S1 and the 44T back on their line. <laughs> Don't make the noise again. See ya. See ya. Yeah, because of that, because of what Retinazer's program did, I can come on seem fully assured that Retinazer will not un will not restore any of his locomotives again. His the intention is to even restore them. So basically, the one time where Retinazer Retinazer built some. Built the sticky tack locomotives, locomotives as prototypes. That could be, that could be the only time he built a new engine, if not the last time. Because I don't see any new locomotives being built. Oh, and speaking of getting them new locomotives, yes. One second, I'm just checking the lens. Is this better? I hope so. Also, speaking of new stuff, yes, I will eventually get a PlayStation 2. Two. Final time I'm going to talk about video games, I promise. Also, I will eventually get some new systems like the PS2. But also, I do know about the one, the one time, eh, you know, I was kind of somewhat different during my first videos. And... Yeah, I know my concept was stupid back then, but yeah, now it made a lot of sense. So yeah, yeah, hi, yeah. Because of that, because of what my program kind of did, I can definitely assure that none of my engines will ever come back to life again if the attention is to even restore them. So yeah, basically the one time where I where I built the sticky tax. That could be the only time, if not the last time. Also, speaking of sticky tax locomotives, yes, there was an accident where my sticky tax steam locomotive could have derailed and kind of suffered a major damage and it had to get an extensive rebuild. So, yeah. So, yeah. But I hate seeing some of my engines put the center headlight. I mean, this could have been a glorious opportunity for me to build Norfolk Western 475 with the high headlight look. Because 
Like Jim Verdecock said, that's my preferred look. I hate seeing 475 with the center headlight. It looks wrong to me. So yeah. And on that bombshell, I'm actually off to go get some games. PlayStation 1 Gran Turismo, that is. No, 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 not actually, not literally. But on that somewhat, on that somewhat game like bombshell, I will, I will say my final goodbyes to my likes and haters. To those of my fans who supported my channel, thank you so much for supporting my channel over the over the years. I sorry I haven't uploaded much on. Sorry I haven't uploaded on 2022. I just never really had a lot of time to do stuff. Because I had so much stuff to do during 2022, and I just didn't know when to upload. But to those of you haters who didn't like me, good for you. And so, yeah, because of you haters, that's the reason why I'm leaving YouTube. And no, I am not coming back. I'll keep the channel on. You can still watch my videos. I'll post a community post here and there. I might sometimes live stream, but no, no more videos. So, yeah. With that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm um, close to 30 subscribers. I might even make a community post about that. So, yeah. And thank you guys for, for watching my chant videos over the years. And on that, and the last time I'm gonna do this, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe if you want. And thank you for supporting my channel over the years. Goodbye. Also, one more thing. Thing I might, I might somewhat upload previews of Sigma vs. Retinizer three. I probably might not make that because you already see my sequel. I mean, I don't need to make another. Okay, seriously, I'm going to end this right now. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe if you want. And thank you guys for, for viewing my content. Goodbye.